Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Ming here. Today's the video we're going to organize my kitchen pantry, but it's been several months, three months at least, and things have gone a little bit out of hands. So we gotta get our life together, organize this pantry. All right, here are the current pantry. It looked better than before, but it doesn't look as good as last time when my friend organized it. For sure, not as good as like random stuff right here. Things that I think could have been in better places. It's been more busy than before, but overall it's not too, too bad compared to last time. But we're gonna try to get it up together. Um, my friend said, if you don't organize it very often, like it's very easy just to fall out of track. And then we gotta get in there. So I got another item that it's supposed to be helpful for the organization. So I think it's supposed to free up a lot more spaces in the kitchen for us. Ta-da! This is the sixth tier over the door pantry organizer. Hold on, there's a box in the box. This thing has six tiers and you can put the seasoning and bottles in there. I think it should be helpful. We don't know yet and I'm super excited. I've seen this one in my sister-in-law's pantry and I kind of want to look like that, but they do have a bigger pantry. So we'll see if it's gonna work out for my house. Oh, so I finally got my nails done <laughs> after two years. I haven't done my nails since I was pregnant. That, and honestly, it's not very convenient because now my nails are longer. I got a little extension set. What do you guys think? Like, do you do nails as a mom? Like, I've seen a lot of moms with longer nails, but it's just super inconvenient. I guess it's technically not a sample, but you do kind of have to put them in together. There are a lot of 3M tapes, actually. I don't know what I use the tapes for, but this is a little rack thing. It has these things. I assume you just hook it in. Alright guys, I end up not using the 3M tapes. I'm just putting everything here. I feel like the top layer is a little too high for me to reach. I may adjust it a little bit, but the bottom layer is great. And I love the fact that, oh, okay, so my pantry door is kind of tall and high, but I kind of like the fact that it stops right here because my baby cannot reach here. It would have been a disaster if it's like super low then my baby would have been able to reach the basket and it would have been like a super disaster and it could just fall on him but now it's kind of tall and it's actually pretty nice that my baby cannot touch it so now we're gonna put in some spices right here so that like my kitchen look at right here this is like so much clutter so i can put some of these spices right here so many trader joe's Spices. Well, I think the back thing is just so that it doesn't peel. So I'm gonna use the sticker actually. All right, so now I'm gonna think about what to put on the top rack. I've tried to not to make the top rack too heavy. I just feel like it makes me feel safer. And I also got a plastic bag for whatever the food that I don't eat anymore and expired. Granted that we already threw away a lot of expired, for expired food three months ago, but still it's been accumulating. So let's go in. I think the condiments are really great. Some baby pasta over here. Oh, here we go. I was looking for it. So here is our almond butter. Look at it right now. There you go. Yeah, those are good. My friend got me the Costa Rica Costa Rica coffee, but I haven't opened these. I'm gonna put it in the fridge so they don't expire or taste <laughs> my lens wipes. Potato chips. Those are the old ones. I don't know. I think part of the problem is also these Costco gudos. I need to take them out of the package because it's kind of bulky. And since I ate half of it, it just feels like it has a lot, but half of them are already gone except for one. So it's important to take them out of the huge box from Costco. And I think that's one of the reasons why like very hard to maintain the organized country if you're buying bulk. 
Initially, I had these things stand up like this, but it's actually not a good way to organize. So see, this whole shelf is all empty. So I'm gonna now make them like this way. So even though when you take the bottom ones, it doesn't look as, you know, helpful, like easy, but it's still easier than, you know, it saves more space. <sighs> the cat treats, I didn't buy these. I put on a site for now, but it's just okay. I bought this one from Costco. I drank one, it tastes okay, but then there was like a bug in it. I don't know if there's a bug in the mix or there was a bug from my house, so it just grossed me out. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Should I return it? But I was like, I don't know, I'm debating. This one I got for free, for free, and then getting these days during Halloween mixed. So since I love coffee so much, I drink a decaf <laughs> before I go to bed. But since I already thought that these are empty, just refill this. Okay, we're gonna put the couscous here. Because, you know, it's the same category. Ta-da! These can always go into the coffee drawer. Has a little bit more room now. Coffee. The one outside is like so full. Or I can just put these all in here. Oh, genius idea. Let's do that. All right, guys. I think this one shelf, one level is looking pretty good. Kind of freed up a lot of space and look more organized. But ta-da. This is the second shelf. It's not too bad. We still preserved a lot of things from last time. But we're going to put the temptation in the back. That's where the cat food category is. And now there is a canned food. Oh, baby food milk. So I'm going to figure out this mess and we're gonna take most of these out of the bulky packaging and some of them I will distribute them to the other caregivers of my baby so they you know have a treat of some sort but look this is a huge box right he only has four of these bags the only reason why it has this bulky box is so that these don't get like you know smashed smack smacked so see it's just not as bulky as this one so let's put it in the little container all right one more level is down there we go so we got canned food on the right side perfectly stacked and condiments that are not open some snacks for baby and me i put the coffee thing right here so i can see it as the two matcha in here and we got these all right now the following thing was just a little bit crazy we got a costco stock again so i actually don't know what am i gonna do with this first of all we got this costco mac and cheese this one is almost empty, but there's still some. I need to actually throw these away and keep the spoon. Oh, I actually don't know what to do. <laughs> this little honey drop. Like if you have any throat problems during allergy season. Okay, we got so many Ziplocs right here. This one. I got this one was from a month ago or when I was traveling. Didn't finish it on the plane. Move back to the stand. The pizza cracker from Trader Joe's, we end up not finishing it because my husband didn't like it. And after a while, I just felt like it's very soggy, didn't really like the texture. Um, should have kept the packaging, you can return it if you really don't like it, but it's been a while and I throw away the packaging. I feel like there may be better ways for this, but so far it's working. The Ziplocs are laid. And then we got a little snack box, some stored products that I stocked up from Costco, baby food that I stocked up, some more snacks and I opened some of them or not. And it just, I think, sounds a lot better compared to the beginning. What do you guys think? But like, there's still some space on the top layer of this rack. Let me think about it. We can put some other stuff right here. I want to put on the top right, but this one actually saved a lot of space from the pantry that I feel like, you know, it's helpful. Hey guys, here is the after. I haven't figured out what I'm going to put on the top rack because I'll have to use the kitchen ladder to get on top. But it actually is pretty beneficial. I, I can access to all of the other racks and all of my condiments are here. It saves a lot of space from the kitchen counter. And the best part is 
Ta-da! I know it's still not like a hundred hundred percent, but it only took me like an hour and a half to achieve this, which is just super fast compared to last time. Last time it took me a long, long time to organize it. So I think it's a good advice to organize your pantry every three months to throw away the expired food and make sure you know like what's in the stock so that you don't overbuy it. And it looks pretty good. I can now find my food really easily. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and organize my kitchen pantry with me. I feel like it's still not super aesthetically pleasing like some of the Instagram posts, but I think it has good potential. And now like, everything is categorized in my pantry all my condiments sauces you know the peanut butters are right there and all of the foods are right here the baby food the coffee everything is like super categorized at least like even though it doesn't look as like aesthetically pleasing it has a really nice utility use and functional use which is really good so i hope this video can help you out i think this rack works out final test to make sure the doors can be closed Ta-da! it closed pretty nicely so it's a success that's it for today thumbs up and subscribe and i'll link this product down below and check out my other videos in this channel especially the organizing videos and i will see you in my next one bye thumbs up and subscribe